breakfast time. Thank you. Probably the most memorable breakfast time we've ever had. We sat here eating our egg coppers and fruit and drinking our tea. And there was a monkey shot from that train just start kicking right off and having a fight with each other. They're still up there. Good morning folks, we are on our way to Little Adam's Peak. We're going to walk up there this morning, if we can find a way, and uh, get some food afterwards. We can always find a way. Yeah, we'll always find a way, yeah. Some cool vibe of Grandia this morning, I like it. It's a village, still quite quiet though. It's busy as hell last night, oh, a lot of tourists about. This is quite a heavy tourist area actually, even though it's like a quiet, quiet peaceful mountain town. Right, so we're making good progress, we're nearly there. Some cool little uh, cafes and shops that we've walked past. Seen loads of people, they've been helping us out and giving us directions. It's about 34 degrees at the minute. It's only 10 to 9 in the morning, so I dread how hot it's going to be later on. How'd you feel? Good. Good. <laughs> A woman of many words, my wife. <laughs> look at that there, look. That's a pretty Weird looking, isn't it? So much tea. So we're on the way up Little Adam's Peak now. It's a nice little trail that takes you up there. I know it gets a lot steeper when we get on the way or closer to the top. It's absolutely roasting already. Woo! I've just seen a uh, bloke come down the hill with a monkey with some trousers on and a king cobra. That was really pissed off. He's trying to insist on us taking a photo of it. Well, I think it's absolutely disgusting so that's not going to be happening. Uh, those of you that know me probably be laughing now anyway, you know what I'm like with animals. Right, so that was uh, Little Adam's Peak. It's nice, there's a lot of people going up at the minute though. So uh, it's getting quite busy. We've seen a lot of people kind of coming up past us now. But it's nice views. If you're like a fatty like me, you might struggle <laughs> on the last kind of 10 minutes worth of the walk. It's probably about what, half hour maybe? Yeah, it was a Between 20 minutes and half hour, depends how where you count it from, if you know what I mean. Um, so it goes up as a slope, like a dirt path for quite some time. Then it becomes steps and they get really, really steep. Then the steps disappear. Then you get a final bunch of steps and then you're up at the uh, peak. And you can look out over, over the valley, it's the yellow rock and stuff. It's a really, really nice view. Unbelievable, actually, especially on a day like this. It's perfect. But like I said already, really hot. Anyway, we're going to make our way back down now, find a nice cafe. Get some coconuts. Get some coconuts. And get some Wi-Fi so I can upload these videos. Right, guys, so we finished our walk up the Lanham's Peak. Now we've gone to the Ella Flower Garden, which is just at the bottom. Uh, it's just before you start going up to the hill. You'll see it as you walk past it if you come up here. But it's a beautiful little place. Have a look. Great view as well. So now we're just sitting here and I'm drinking my orange juice from the most manliest glass. <laughs> Sri Lanka. Right, so we've had our drinks and now we're walking up to Nine Arches Bridge. It's like a mini version of the uh, Biodeck on Harry Potter. Exactly how far it is. I think it's a few kilometres up from where we uh, start the where the road forks off to go up to Mini Adam Peak. Uh, it's just a few k up the road. I mean, a lot of people get tuk tucks, but we can walk. It's good for you.
it's the end of the day. We're going out to get some tea, and then we're calling it a night. We're on our way uh, eastwards tomorrow, making our way down to Aragon Bay, which is where the surfers hang out. So we're going to enjoy that, get a nice room on Airbnb. But we need to find some aircraft, some Wi-Fi, so we can actually. Yeah, if we can find some Wi-Fi. Don't generally get Wi-Fi in a place. Like Guys, so we finished your day. We're in a little cafe, just getting some takeaway chips to take back to the room. I've seen this elephant picture in the background, and that is my next tattoo. The only thing is, that's an African elephant, not an Asian one. Yeah. Okay, we've got it, yeah. We're right underneath the coffee table. I have to get them out though. Go back on you. I want to see them. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm still looking for them. <laughs> They're fast, aren't they? How are we going to get them out? <laughs> Fuck me, you're joking. Is that how fast you were? <laughs> I went up there. That's the different one. Open them. Everywhere. <laughs> 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 Open them windows. Right, so after the fun and games of today, we're back in the Airbnb. We're travelling east tomorrow uh, to Arugan Bay. Uh, that's right on the east coast of Sri Lanka. So we've now gone from the west coast to the east coast. And we need to make our way all the way down around the south. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.